Active noise cancellation is not a cheap technology to implement, but Xiaomi is a brand that is known for providing features of a higher segment in a given price range. So today we are going to check out their Mi neckband Bluetooth earphones pro and these come at 1800 rupees in India, which is already a budget price point for wireless gear. So to have active noise cancellation in this segment is quite surprising for me and I would really expect major compromises in a product at this price to achieve all of this. So let's check out if these earphones can deliver to these promises. Hey guys, I am Siddharth and let's get started. The unboxing experience is unsurprisingly basic and in addition to some manuals, we get a micro USB cable for charging along with some extra ear tips of different sizes and then we reach to these earphones. I have to say that the design and build of these earphones is really great and they really don't feel like budget neckband earphones. The central part of the neckband has a rubberized feel to it along with an interesting pattern and the ends of this neckband have glossy plastic sections that also have a brushed metal like texture. These are some details that you generally don't find in this budget. The earphones themselves attach to each other magnetically and they have a very nice texture to them that keeps them from moving when you have them attached which is an innovative idea. Other than that, they have the same design as Xiaomi's other recent releases, which is completely fine. The controls on these earphones are really good. In addition to changing the volume or playing or pausing your tracks, you can also skip to the next or previous one and can also double tap the power button to launch Google Assistant. Then with a single press on the button on the other side, you can toggle active noise cancellation on or off. The comfort on these is pretty good. These are slightly heavier than their competition at 38 grams, but that is completely fine as they have to have extra hardware for active noise cancellation. Their neck band is kind of stiff, so you do feel it around your neck, but it's not a big deal and the comfort on the earphones is really nice as they are lightweight and fit well into your ears. Uh, this is how the microphone on the Mi neckband earphones pro sounds and uh, I think that it sounds pretty good. Uh, it also has some environmental noise cancellation on it, so I will just uh, play pink noise now and see how well that works. So now I have pink noise playing and this is how I sound and I think that it performs pretty well. So this should work well for using these with phone calls and now I have turned the pink noise off and this is what it sounds like. So now let's talk about how good their noise cancellation is and if you don't already know, active noise cancellation works by generating a sound wave of inverted phase from your surroundings that it receives through its dedicated microphones. So you get reduced noise as both of these waves kind of cancel each other out. So this is a tech that requires additional hardware and processing and this is the cheapest product that I have had this technology in. Coming to their ANC performance, I didn't have big expectations from it, but it does perform pretty well for their price and their form factor. It is of course not competing with 30,000 rupees headphones here, but we also have to consider that ANC headphones have a lot of physical mass that also blocks out the noise that the earphones don't have. So it cancels out the lower frequencies decently well, but the mids and high frequencies are quite audible. So any low frequency rumble you have around you will get suppressed, but you are going to hear people talking and you will also hear sounds that have higher frequencies. I compared these to the 3000 rupees this wolf ANC earphones from Banggood, which I thought were pretty good for their price. And the performance of the ANC on these earphones is quite similar. So that is a really good thing. I used to use ANC earphones a lot when I used to go to gym and using earphones like this suppresses the music they have playing, which becomes very useful when you have your own music or podcast playing. So active noise cancellation has utility in many places and these earphones should give you a taste of that. Bluetooth 5.0 on these is nice to have and I don't mind the lack of any special codec like Aptex, but Xiaomi says that they have low latency for gaming and I didn't find that to be the case as these had very similar latency to other wireless earphones. Do give this video a thumbs up if you've been enjoying it so far and you can also subscribe to channel with bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Battery life on these is mentioned to be 20 hours which is really great and they did deliver to that in my tests but I just left them with music playing with ANC on but after a few hours I found that ANC was automatically turned off which is quite odd but it didn't happen when I was using these earphones normally. The charging on these is done through their micro USB port and these are the only pair of earphones I have used recently in this range that doesn't have USB type C but using USB type C instead of micro USB in a product actually costs more so I can understand their decision to go with it to keep the price low so I don't consider it to be a negative with these. 
This charging port is sealed because they do have IPX5 water resistance rating, so they should be fine to use in rain. Finally coming to their sound quality, I was not expecting it to be close to the non-active noise cancellation earphones in this price range, but it does get close to them if you use an equalizer, which is still very impressive. So by default, they have a very bass boosted sound signature. It is not a V-shaped sound signature, but the bass is boosted too much and it overpowers the rest of the frequencies of the sound. So the mids and vocals on these earphones get affected by their bass, which can make them sound muffled. And the treble on these also doesn't have the sparkle that something like the Oppo Enco M31 has, so it doesn't sound as good. But with an equalizer, you can control the bass to quite an extent. And with these settings that have a negative 3 decibel adjustment in the bass, you can make it sound pretty balanced. The treble is not going to improve with this, but they sound much better overall. And for an earphone with ANC in this price range, they sound really great. So in conclusion, the Mi Neckband Bluetooth Earphones Pro are kind of amazing as an overall package. Their build and design feels really good. The controls and comfort are great. The active noise cancellation works very well for the price. And even though their sound isn't as good as the non-active noise cancellation earphones in this budget, I do consider it to be really good considering all the features we have on these. Active noise cancellation is very useful in many cases. So for example, if you use these to listen to podcasts while working out in the gym, the sound quality isn't going to matter that much. If you don't need active noise cancellation, I would suggest that you go for something like the Oppo Enco M31 and you can watch my four Nagband earphones comparison so you can decide which one is the best for you. But these Mi Nagband earphones are a product that I can strongly recommend and I will add these to the list of best value earphones on my Amazon storefront. I'll also have links in the video description if you want to buy these or check their current price. And that was it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on these earphones in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you disliked it. Subscribe with bell, follow me on socials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.